Garrotting was originally a robbery, an attack carried out with a wire around the victim's neck. Church Lane, the area of Rochdale frequented by thieves and prostitutes, saw an outbreak of garrotting in the 1850s. A visitor from Gateshead was garroted and killed just outside the Coach and Horses Hotel. The new form of transport, the Manchester Leeds Railway, attracted a new and even more violent type of criminal. On the 14th of February, 1858, Littleborough schoolteacher Edward Wainwright took the money from his trade union to deposit in a bank in Manchester. He bought some chloroform for his toothache and then went to the Boar's Head Inn, forgetting to deposit the money. On his way back to Victoria Station, he spotted what he took to be a drunk staggering down the cathedral steps. Wainwright was horrified when the man, clearly not drunk at all, bumped into him at Victoria Station booking office. Wainwright went to a train compartment and slammed the door behind him. To his dismay, there was a comfort break at Rochdale and the stranger crept into Wainwright's compartment. As the train roared into the summit tunnel, the man thrust a gun between Wainwright's teeth and said, hand over the money or I'll blow your brains out. The man reached into Wainwright's pocket, pulled out the chloroform bottle and forced him to drink. As Wainwright passed out, the man began to garrote and strangle him. The alarm was raised as a man was seen leaping off a moving train just outside Walsden. Wainwright was taken off the train at Tomberdon. He had terrible marks on his neck and severe burns to his mouth and throat. Wainwright said that the money and his gold ring had gone, describing his attacker as being dark and 5 feet 10 inches tall. On the following day, Michael Brennan was arrested in Liverpool. He was five feet three. Because of the size disparity, the defence at Michael Brennan's trial in Manchester alleged that Edward Wainwright had staged the whole robbery in order to steal the trade union's money. The judge asked sarcastically whether in that case, Edward Wainwright had drunk chloroform and then strangled himself. The jury found Michael Brennan guilty and the judge sentenced him to transportation to Australia for life. It was later alleged that Edward Wainwright had pawned his gold ring in Manchester a week before the supposed attack on the train. Was Michael Brennan innocent after all? 